Hello and welcome to this edition of Sled Talk. My name is Jarrett Smith. Today we're going to take you through what I would typically do in a pre-season of a Yamaha snowmobile, particularly this Sidewinder behind us. This is a 2023 Sidewinder LTX LE. This sled we actually use for photo shoot purposes, so it's got some miles on it now and needs an oil change. So we're going to take you through how to do an oil change on a Yamaha snowmobile, specifically Sidewinder, and also other things you should look at before a pre-season. So we got some key items on here. First up being the oil change kit. This comes with all the necessary things you need to do an oil change in your Yamaha snowmobile. So it comes with gloves, comes with a funnel, comes with new O-ring as well as copper crush washer for the drain, comes with oil filter, oil and instructions. You'll also see on here because this is a full pre-season, we got a new belt, we got carbides. We're gonna take a look at the carbides, see their wear condition, and it's not a bad idea to put on a new set of carbides. These are actually the four bolt carbides, which give a little more carbide on the rear to help with that cornering confidence. And with the power steering that's on this model bus behind us, we actually can throw more carbide to it. So this is what comes standard on this model. We have sliders, grease, which is always important, drain pan, rag, and then we're gonna take you through pre-season of this 2023 Yamaha Sidewinder. All right, here we go. We're gonna start on the oil change of a Sidewinder snowmobile. First, we need to drain the bottom of the engine. So we're gonna take the access panel off from the bottom. We'll also pull off the side panel on the side as we are gonna to have to drain the dry sump of the motor here. So once we do those two, we can start the oil change process with a filter. So follow me now as they start by taking off the bottom access panel. All right, so access panel from below comes off with four T30 torques. So you take those off below, underneath here to get access to the drain as well as the oil filter. So now that we have this off, we're going to drain the oil from the bottom of the engine. Inside of your oil change kit, you're gonna find a new copper crush washer. This is gonna go on the drain bolt for the bottom of the oil pan. So you'll replace that whenever you change the oil with a new one that comes in your kit. Now that we have the bottom of the oil pan drained, we're gonna move on to the oil filter. All right, so here's a perfect example of what we talked about earlier. We just pulled this oil filter off of this Sidewinder engine and the O-ring has actually stuck to the block. So if you look at this filter here, this is a brand new filter. You can see this O-ring here on the oil filter. See how this one's missing and there's that groove? That means that at, that O-ring currently is on the, that Sidewinder engine block. So if you were to go to put this one on, this O-ring would not have a good seal to the actual engine block and it would be against the other O-ring. That typically will cause a leak between the two O-rings. So you always wanna make sure when you take off this oil filter that you also get the O-ring. And now we're gonna to have to get that removed from the block, which is easy, usually a fingernail can pull it off. So this one has a good seal when we put it back on. All right, so now we're gonna put the new oil filter on. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put a light coat of oil on this O-ring there, just to lubricate it as we put this oil filter on. Once we have this on, this is gonna to get torqued to 12 foot-pounds with the oil wrench socket, and then we'll be done underneath. Oil filter is done. Now we're gonna put the access panel on for down below. Four torques, T30, torque to nine foot-pounds. All right, next on the list is draining the dry sump. So in order to drain the dry sump, there are two bolts right here and two bolts underneath for the foot rest. So we have to take that off first, then I'll show you a trick on how to get the oil without getting it all over your belly pan there. All right, so one trick that I'll do is I'm gonna make a little bit of a funnel here. 
So I'm gonna take an old Yamma Lube container. And I'm gonna just slice it up so that it will serve as a funnel for me to get the oil out from underneath there without making too big of a mess. So this is just an old used cork that we had lying around. We're just gonna slice it up. Like that, like this. Looks like someone put some old oil in it. Drain all that. Okay, so now I have effectively made a little trough that the oil is gonna go down. So to keep a smooth pour with the drain that we have set up there, I just slowly back off the oil fill cap. So I limit the amount of air going into the oil tank. And by doing that, I can slow down the flow so I don't overwhelm our little trough there. Um, we're almost done now, but it'll keep it from going too fast. So I just slowly start to open the oil fill as I wanna get a little more flow and let the air out. As you can see, our oil looks like it's just about done draining. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the O-ring that came off of this drain. So the new one comes with the kit. You're just gonna replace it onto that drain bolt. And then we're gonna put that together and we're gonna put it on the bottom of the dry sump oil tank. And then we'll start filling this thing up with three US quarts of 0W40 full synthetic oil. So these are one liter quarts, so we need 2.8 liters for an oil change with filter. So the last one, we've done two full already, so we're just gonna do 800 mils on this one, which will give us the 2.8 liters. You can see on the side where there is totals, so if it's 1,000, we're gonna go down to 200. Pretty close. And then of course, once we check it and run it, we'll be able to check over here. Right now it still needs to go through the oil filter, so it looks like it's a little high, but once we check it, um, we'll be able to see on there how close we are. 